Let's look at another type of problem. Construct the confidence or the indicated confidence interval for the population mean mu using the t-distribution. Hello, they're telling me to use the t-distribution, but if they didn't, I would know I had to because the sample size is less than 30. It's 12. All right, we need a confidence interval, 95% x bar equals 16.5. The sample standard deviation is 4. The sample size is 12. I'm going to go down at the bottom and click confidence interval for t because the sample size is less than 30. So what I do, I go down to the bottom, I click CI for T right there. It pops up. We've got a confidence of 95%. X bar equals 16.5. That's the sample mean, 16.5. Uh, the standard deviation is 4. Sample standard deviation is 4.0. Sample size is 12. I enter it right there. Bazinga! Confidence of 95. I look out to the right of 95. My confidence interval is 13.959 to 19.041. If I need to round that to two decimals, it would be 13.96 to 19.04. So I have my answer. If I need to round it to one decimal place or two decimal places, hopefully, we are very capable of rounding that confidence interval. And we're very capable of saying, Bazinga! 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 Let's look at another one. In a random sample of 28 people, we got a bell going off. 28 is less than 30. The mean time to eat a bag of popcorn is 23.4 minutes. And the standard deviation was 4.8 minutes. Assume the population is normally distributed. And use, not us, use a t-distribution to construct an 80% confidence interval for the population mean mu. What is the margin of error? Oh no, he asked me for the margin of error. We can find it with a calculator. So what do we do? We put in the sample size of 28. Hit the enter button. The sample mean was 23.4. Hit the enter button. Uh-oh. Hit the enter button. Sample standard deviation was 4.8. 4.8. And they want the 80% confidence interval. But it says 99, 95, 90. Just put 80% right there in that where it's green. You can change that to 80%. Click the enter button. Bazinga! 22.208 to 24.592. I'm pretty sure that we nailed it. Of course we nailed it. Rounded to one decimal place, this would be 22.2 to 24.6. The margin of error. You say, Brent, this, this doesn't show me the margin of error. This number right out here to the right of 80%. It says plus or minus, that's my margin of error rounded to one decimal place. That would be 1.2 right there. What does it mean? It means with 80% confidence, it can be said that the population mean time to eat a bag of popcorn is between the bounds of the confidence interval, or 22.2 to 24.6. We nailed it, Bazinga. What do you say? I tell you what you say. You say, bazinga.